Today's story is A Pig Parade is a Terrible Idea. Written by Michael Ian Black and illustrated by Kevin Hawks. Like most children, you have probably wondered to yourself at one time or another, hmm, I bet a pig parade would be a lot of fun. And yes, a pig parade would be a lot of fun. It's not even fun to say. Go ahead, say it. Pig parade. After all, what could be more fun than gathering a few hundred pigs together for a grand parade and then watching them proudly march together in the perfect formation down the finest boulevard in your hometown? The only problem is a pig parade is a terrible idea. For one thing, pigs hate to march. They prefer to snuffle, which is a kind of walking with your nose. Snuffling is the is fine when you're trying to find leftover apple skins and acorns around the barnyard, but snuffling is simply an appropriate way to conduct yourself on a long parade route. That's just one reason why a pig parade is a terrible idea. Also, pigs absolutely refuse to wear majorette uniforms. Even if you are able to find enough majorette uniforms for all the pigs, which is a very, very difficult job in itself. Just try get, getting those hundreds of pigs to put them on. They will not. Perhaps they consider a majorette uniform unflattering. Nonsense. Everyone looks sharp in a majorette uniform, even pigs, especially pigs. But when you try to explain that to them, they just look at you as if you are speaking a language they do not understand. Again, a pig parade is a terrible idea. You cannot have parade, a parade without floats, right? Well, forget it. Pigs don't care about floats. Pigs don't care about all, all about Pigs don't care about all the time and energy you spend creating a Three Little Pigs float or a Wilbur the Pig from Charlotte's Web float. In fact, only the only float pigs care about are root beer floats, which they love. Then there's the matter of music. Pigs have horrible taste in music. If you give a group of pigs marching band instruments to play, do you think that they will play a good spirited marching band music? No, they will not. They will play sad, sad country music ballads with titles like My tears are wet cause my mud's gone dry and I just want to plop in this block bucket of slop. That kind of music is fine for slow dancing and hoedowns, but it's not appropriate for a parade. Face it, a big parade is a terrible idea. Finally, there are giant balloons to consider. Everybody knows that giant balloons are the best part of the, any parade. Well, who do you think is going to hold those balloons to keep them from flying away? The pigs, right? Wrong. Even if pigs wanted to hold the balloons instead of finding filthy puddles on the street to lie in, they couldn't do it because the pig hooves are good for digging up wild mushrooms. And when it comes to holding giant parade balloons, they are simply not up to the job. And what happens when the balloons get out, go unattended? They bump into buildings or simply drift off into outer space, which could be fine for the Martians, but awful for those of us trying to enjoy a pig parade here on Earth. So when you consider the, the constant snuffling, the refusal to wear majorette uniforms, the disinterest in the pig-themed literary floats, pigs' preference for weepy country ballads, and their utter lack of discipline regarding proper balloon handling, it should be absolutely, completely, and totally clear that a pig parade is a terrible idea. A panda bear parade, on the other hand, would be fantastic.